Well, good afternoon. Uh, it might be uh, negative temperatures outside and snow on the ground, but we're going to be talking about some boxy baseball. I've had some requests for the uh, outfield check sequence, and so we'll walk through that scenario and a couple of the uh, different things that pop up with it. It's really not a difficult sequence. I think part of what makes it difficult for some folks is uh, it just doesn't pop up that often. So you find yourself having to check um, if you're doing it correctly. Hopefully this video will help clear some things up and uh, just the visualization aspect of it helps uh, with realizing what's going on. Uh, so without further ado, let's take a look. So what we have here is uh, I've got my 1985 card set on the table. Got Ozzie Smith at the plate. Dwight Gooden is on the mound. Vince Coleman is on first. And we're we'll doing an outfield check for the right fielder, Daryl Strawberry. You know, I think it helps to visualize what a uh, outfield check situation really is. We've got uh, the Shea Stadium card here. Um, we see it in a game when you're watching, but it's a ball that's hit down the lines or in the gap. Um, maybe even a blooper in front of the outfielder if he's playing deep. Where the outfielder's range or arm is going to make a difference in whether it's a single or a double. So that's really all we're doing is uh, it's, it's, it's already a hit. It's always going to be a hit. It's just is it a single or a double. So, so what we're going to do here is take a look. Ozzie Smith has rolled a 62 the red air die was a one, no air check required. So we look at 62 versus right, and we see it's a double one. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, go our flip cards here. We're gonna flip it, and Aussie is a 9.0 for verse right. We see that that is a scoring position check with a rating of minus three. Well, we just have Coleman on first base, so uh, it's an auto hit in this situation. No need to do the scoring position check. Okay, so what we need to do next is see what kind of hit it was. We know it's a double, one. So go over here to the flip card that was face up, and we see that double, one, it's down the right, to the right field, down the line, and the first uh, letter or number there is for the base situation. So first one is just for runner on first only. The second one is for runners in scoring position. In this case, we'll use the first one, which is an O, which you can see here at the top there. We're going to do the outfield check routine. Okay, so uh, one of the cool things I'll just point out real quick that I really love about the game, Tom has done a great job in designing all of the things to make sense. Uh, this is a ball that is down the line. And a lot of times we see that uh, where a ball is down the line or in the gap uh, gives that opportunity for a runner to maybe stretch a single to a double. So you'll see a lot of times the type of hit uh, tied to the outfield check uh, sequence, which I think is pretty cool. All right, that has nothing to do with, uh, that's just design. I think that's cool. That uh, has nothing to do with uh, uh, actually resolving anything here, though. So what we're going to do is we know that it's uh, going to be testing Daryl Strawberry in right field. If we look at Strawberry here, he is a fielding rating of two. One's the best, so two, two is good. Uh, he's got an arm rating of B, which A is the best, so he's got a pretty good arm as well. The air ratings don't come into play at all on an outfield check, so we're just going to be concerned with the 2 or the B, depending on what we end up flipping here. So we're going to go back over to our flip cards, and we're going to flip, and we're going to look at the outfield check section. Now, this is important. You always look at this, the uh, type of hit that originated off the batter's card. In the case of uh, this situation off Ozzy's card, it was a double, if you recall. So we're going to look here under the double section. Now what this is telling us is to make the play, that is cut off the ball successfully and hold the runner to a single, the fielder needs to be greater than a three. So a one or a two. And in this case, 
strawberry is a two. So that means he has successfully cut the ball off and held Ozzy Smith to a single. Now, you wonder about base runner advance. What happens to Vince Coleman? Well, this is the next important thing to remember, and that is now that you've determined it's a single, you use the base runner advance listed for a single. Uh, not Now, in this case, they're both the same. They're both Z, but the Z would be very different for a double than a single. So you're going to use the single advancement Z code. So what we're going to do here is flip our book to the outfield check routine. And you'll see here that it's got single base runner advancement where you have the Z situations. The normal, if it was, uh, if it had said norm, this is what you'd use. And we'd say, oh, right field, runner on second is going to score. Runner on first, that's A plus A, B or C is going to go to third. Okay. Um, for doubles, same thing. Over here is the chart for if uh, it asks us to use his arm rate, which we're going to look at in a minute. But we're back here. We're at singles, the Z uh, situation. This only applies in these base situations. The runner is on first, uh, first, and second, first or first and third, etc. So um, we have a runner on first, so that applies to us. And you say, okay, runner on first, base runner equals A plus or A, all base runners score. So what we'll do here is you look and you find Vince Coleman's base running rating right here. He's an A plus. So that means in this situation, Vince Coleman, off at the crack of a bat, has scored all the way from first on a single. Um, and despite Strawberry's great play to hold Ozzy to a single, the Cardinals have picked up a run. Um, you might think, well, that's going to happen pretty frequently. And the truth is it doesn't. I've been playing the game almost five years. I've had three players um, score from first on a single. All three fast players, uh, Gary Templeton, Brett Butler, and uh, and I forget the, set, the third. But they're, they're all, they all three were A-plus ratings. And as you see here, only the A-plus or the A... Uh, base runner is going to do that. Okay? If he had been a B, C, or C minus, we jump down here to the normal advancement. All right, so that was that type of uh, scenario. What we're going to look at next is the same thing. We're going to pretend we've got the double down the line and we're checking strawberry, except that when we flipped this, instead of seeing that he made the play, we look here and we see uh, that he didn't. Only a one would keep Ozzy Smith from getting a double. So in this case, the double is gonna stand and we're gonna use the Z uh, advancement for a double because it's a, it started as a double, it stayed a double. So when we go over to doubles and we look and it says, hey, the Z situation only applies with runner on second or second and third and less than two outs. Um, and it's one of the coolest results in uh, uh, tabletop baseball, that I, I think. And that is you have a runner on second that only advances one base on a double. I've had it come up twice. One of them was Manny Ramirez, which uh, to me was uh, very apropos, Manny being Manny. But in this case, um, it uh, is not going to apply because we just have the runner on first. And so you see here, Coleman would have a coach's decision to advance uh, to home. Uh, if you decide to hold him, he'd be at third. Otherwise, he could try and score on Strawberry's arm. An A plus with a B um, arm is uh, very good odds to score with zero or one ounce, and if two outs. You're probably sending him regardless. So uh, that's how that would work if he was unable, he being Strawberry, if uh, Strawberry was unable to cut the ball off. So let's look at the final uh, scenario, and that is if we had flipped the card and it says arm. So in this case, uh, you're testing the outfielder's arm to determine if he is able to prevent 
the runner from stretching. So we're going back over here to our arm chart. You can kind of see down here in the bottom right uh, is the arm section. The shadow's getting in the way. But um, we said that Strawberry had a B arm. We're going to roll our red die. And uh, so I'll roll the dice here. I rolled a six. So we look here, and six to nine, it would be a double, and you would use the Z um, base runner advancement, which is what we had just gone over. If we had rolled a three to a five, Strawberry's strong arm would uh, hold Ozzy to a single. We threw the brakes on, and then you've got um, Coleman advancing to third. And if there had been a zero to a two rolled, Ozzy would be thrown out at second, and Coleman would end up at third. Uh, there's also some notes down here about the different base running styles that you can do, aggressive or conservative. Um, if, you're, if you're aggressive, that single becomes an out. So now zero to five is an out range. And conservative, um, what you're saying is, okay, I'm giving up my chances for a double, but saving outs. So uh, the double and the out of second just become a single. Essentially, all arm checks are uh, going to become a single. Uh, all right, so I hope that this has helped, and uh, if this uh, if it doesn't, let me know, and we can go over some different scenarios. Um, runner on second or runner in scoring position works pretty much the same way.